guys. Welcome back to the shack. Today, we are going to work on some uh, crafty projects. Uh, what, are you, what, are you, we, what, are, what are you doing? Well, I'm just showing off the projects that I did. Yeah, but I it's, did not, this, it's not this the weekend. Brandy Shack, it's the but Clack Shack. It's the, and I'm a Clack. <laughs> Let us get this sorted out, guys. We'll be right back. All right, guys, you guessed it. Today, Brandy's been out here for the past couple of days. I've been working on a lot of projects. Some of these projects are actually friends of hers. And so I put her to work and she's gotten in here and now I think she's getting a little too comfortable in the shack. She knows where things are and she's, she's trying to take over, guys. But anyway, uh, so this weekend I've had to do a lot of stove covers. Of course, some of you may have seen I did some stuff with the bees and I've been trying to turn some jobs out and get caught up. And these, these are multiple projects and I'm gonna kind of go over with you I waver guys anything that has color chances are I had nothing to do with it that's brandy and uh, I'll drop a picture up here she did the painting for me but uh, just to show you some of the things that you can do and then I've got another uh, project that we did over here we've got the same project but we did it with three different methods and had three different outcomes and so we'll go over that with you too but starting off guys this is, uh, explain what this is supposed to be. It's, it's Because a, I was just told wreath. to build it. It's a door wreath or a door hanger. And this one is for a, um, a, a welcome home, homecoming type. Uh, some young kids that have recently got together and they've got their new home. And so that's what this is for. So it's the wooden cutout, which David this is ply. This is plywood. And don't look at the cutout, guys. I did it by hand and I cut these things out a while back before I got better tools. It's not perfect, but... There again, none it's of my rustic, stuff is. and that's what we're going for. Yeah, so. rustic. <laughs> and with the black letters, and we went back and forth on fonts and how to do that. But he he cut that out for me. Um, it has some paint um, just to give it a little contrast, and then of course the bows and some greenery at the top. And so yeah, I had nothing to do with this part. This is not me. This is what. This is why, guys. It's it's okay every now and then to have the women come into the shop because they do have a little better taste when it comes to stuff like this than we do. Uh, the one thing that we did kind of, it was kind of a point of contention and you guys that do laser cutting, feel me on this. These letters were really, really thin and made them really, really hard to glue on there. But this was the font that they wanted. And so after some back and forth, that's what we wound up going with. But what I did guys is I, I, I basically. That means she won and that's what we went with. <laughs> basically, this is just a round piece of plywood. I masked it off here. Uh stained it front and back and then once the, the stain dried peel off the masking and expose the, the regular wood and then mask the outer edges and hit it with some spray paint just some Krylon spray paint this is like a coyote or sand gray or whatever color it is but uh and then of course the letters i meant to spray paint those before i put them on there but i got distracted and didn't and I had glued them on when I realized I had, that I had forgot to paint them. But luckily, I always use, I cut my shape to where I use this line as an alignment going to here. And I, I make a square, basically, and then line it up from the edges. And so when I put the, you know, the piece that they come from, I put it back over the letters to, to, to line them up for glue. So I just left it on there and uh, managed to paint it using that as kind of like, a way of keeping from getting any paint on the backdrop. So I think it turned out pretty well. Turned and, out beautiful. And of course, guys, if you don't have a stamp, which mine turned out to be upside down, but it does have my Clack Shack logo on there. So that was one project that we did this weekend. It was kind of a collaboration between the two of us. It was her idea and then of course my laser woodworking skills. Talents. <laughs> I wouldn't call it talents. I'm still <laughs> learning. But anyway. We got three more projects I'm going to show you, so let me reset this. All right, guys, so the next project, uh, the, the lady had sent us a, kind of a, I guess a Pinterest picture. Was it Pinterest or Etsy or something? And mm -hmm. she's like, I want something similar to this, but use your creativity. Uh, this is the text that I want on them. So I took that opportunity to decide. I, I wanted to do three different approaches because, guys, I, I hear it a lot of times when I do a project, they're like, oh, well, you could have masked it and painted it, or, oh, you could have done this, or, oh, you could have backfilled it with color, or, I mean, there's a lot of different variations, guys, and so don't ever get hung up thinking there's only one way to do something. 
Anytime I go over how I do something, it's because that day, that's what I wanted to do. Uh, whether it's, you know, like this guy here, and I'm going to show them all three to you. Uh, this guy here, this is a straight up, put it in the laser and engraved it. Now, you'll notice that the, all these boards are the same shape. And the reason is, is I had some old red oak that I recently uh, got through drying, and it was the right thickness to do these with, you know, make them sturdy, make them out of hardwood, but not too heavy. Uh, so this one was straight off the laser, and then I just sanded it, coated it with polyacrylic, and that's the result that you get. So that was cool, but a lot of you guys are always, you know, saying, well, you could have masked it. And you could have masked it and then back painted it. And I, and I can, guys. Uh, I do that with some builds. This one is uh, done on the same machine. And I'm using the longer 30 watt for these. Uh, that's how I was able to cut out the half inch thick red oak. Now, it is red oak, guys. It's really, really hard. So I did have to give it a little bit of an assist in a couple of places. Uh, some of the knots and stuff in this material. I had to flip it over and kind of score it with a with an X-Acto to, uh, to get it to completely come loose without splintering. But for the most part, I would say 98% cut completely through, no problems. Uh, and that was 100% output. Uh, eight millimeters a second seems to be the sweet spot. If you go too slow, it tries to burn. If you go too fast, it doesn't do enough work. Eight millimeters a second is what I wound up going with. But I masked this with some uh, transfer tape before I engraved it and then spray painted it with black, let it dry, pull the masking off, and hit it with some polyacrylic. So that's the second way of uh, going about it. The third one was the most time consuming, guys. Y'all know I'm still learning the CNC. Uh, I, I love my lasers, but I like the CNC as well. And so this is my first acceptable completed project with the CNC since I got it. Now I did this with the factory spindle on the machine uh, so you can and then of course the color guys what did I tell you if you see something colorful Brandy did it and uh, yeah right up here I'll drop a picture but uh, she sat down with the paint brushes because there's some things I'm just not good at and actually backfilled it with paint to give it some color and some contrast so all three of these can we get them all three over here sure. <laughs> All three of these, and I'll put them, we'll put them up here for a comparison, guys. Open up a little bit right there. All three of these, it's this, basically the same project. I mean, this is the same project, but three different approaches uh, based on what your tools are, what you're comfortable with, the look that you're going for. Never be afraid to, you know, try to replicate a project the exact way that whoever the creator did it. Uh, like I said, I think all three of these look great. Based on your taste, you can drop a comment down below and let me know which one you like best. Uh, and we'll just do it like this. Okay, so this is going to be the, uh, this is the one that was done on a CNC, and this is paint field. Uh, but like I said, it's the same, sh this is the exact same shape. I actually cut all of them out on the longer. Uh, this one is masked and spray painted with the black spray paint. And you could, you could substitute colors. I mean, you could use white. You could use gold, silver, whatever color, if you mask it like that uh, before, you, uh, before you spray it and before you engrave it. And then, of course, this is the old original straight off of the laser. No special treatment. It was burned, blew it out with the high pressure air, and hit it with some polyacrylic. So drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think, which one looks best. This was just, I, I, get, I get caught up doing projects and doing jobs for, some, for folks sometimes. This was more of a way to kind of express myself, I guess, artistically uh, and, and show you guys the different approaches that you can take with this stuff. Uh, you could have also, I mean, if we'd have wanted to, we could have backfilled one of the engraves with a laser uh, with paint as well. So you could kind of mix and match this if you wanted to. I did try masking this piece, and uh, <laughs> I've got to find the right masking for uh, CNC because it just chewed the masking all up. Because uh, I was going to try to make it easier on Brandy when she was painting it, but the masking just it destroyed it. So I had to like just rip it off and let it go. But, All right, guys. So before any of you ask, uh, I will drop a link. I ordered this stuff off of Amazon. This is 12 inch transfer tape. Uh, it's made for other stuff, but it works well with lasers. I have found that it, it will basically disappear. 
especially if you run two passes on your engrave to get that real deep engrave. Uh, it doesn't leave a residue like some of the other things. It also, using the 12 inch wide uh, seamless layer uh, prevents any kind of like lines in your design because if you use painter's tape, there's always that risk of where that painter's tape joins. You're either gonna have a, a really deep spot because you didn't lap it over each other or you're gonna have a really thin spot because it's trying to burn through two layers of uh, blue tape. So a little tip, description down below, there'll be a link to this. And uh, also I'm gonna drop links to the machines that I use for this job. So if this is something you're researching, wanting to get into, then uh, go check that out. I'll have a link for the same smart and the longer down below. And uh, so, so what do you think? What is your favorite? I've asked everybody else, which, which one, if you had to pick one from a female perspective, uh, and you, like I said, mix and match the designs, which, which one do you think is the, is I the like coolest? I like all of them. I like the color added to this one. So that just, it's a little extra. So I like that. I like that the, the painted black um, just has, you know, a, a really black contrast. I like that. And then I like them all. I, she's going to be happy with all of them. She's okay. going to like all of them. So this is for one of Brandy's co-workers. Actually, both of these projects are for one of Brandy's co-workers. Uh, so, but I do have some upgrades coming for the CNC. I'll share with you guys later. But I just wanted to do a quick video with this. Like I said, I, I actually got her out here in the shop because this was on her to-do list. So I got her out here to help me. And uh, I told her that it, as part of the price for having to do her, her friends and family discount stuff that uh, she had to help me with the video. But then she tried to take it over, guys. So what do you, what do, you do? But till next time, guys, be safe and have a good day.